forms are a great way of testing and questioning your entire class at once. So go into your Google Drive, click New, and you might have to go down to More here and Google Forms. Now there are two ways you can do this. A cool way is to go from a template. If you click from a template, most of these templates here are useless for us, but if we scroll down the bottom, you'll see Education. Now, an exit ticket or an assessment or a worksheet or a course evaluation might be something that you want to look at. Let's click on assessment here and we wait for the internet. Then you'll see there's a little bit for you to um, give instructions for your students. The students pop in their name and their email if you want to. You can actually get the form to grab the email um, uh, automatically. Uh, you can pop in your quiz questions. You can always add more quiz questions by coming over to the side, add question, and then it'll ask you what type of question. And you can see here there's a, a range of question types. If instead we wanted to start from scratch, once again, come over more, Google Forms, blank form. And as you can see here, this is where you'd start putting in your own questions. One fun thing you can do is add a video um, directly from YouTube. This could be one of your own videos or a video that you found. So you can embed a video and then insert some questions after it. Once you've finished your assessment, let's imagine that we are here. One of the things we can do is we come up to settings and click on quizzes and we make this a quiz. Now, what will happen? So if that's unchecked, we check that. What we'll need to do is for every question that we put in, we'll actually have to select the correct answer. So I'll select the answer and I'll ascribe it some points. If I do that, then for every question that uh, has an absolute answer, Google will uh, mark that test for me. So of course, uh, questions uh, with short answer text, uh, you'll have to read those and mark them yourself. So once I'm done, I click send and there's a few ways I can send this. One of them is just through a link. So I can just grab this link and embed it in wherever in my class LMS or wherever, wherever I question my students. Um, I could send it uh, via an email or I could embed this if you're a bit of a power user. Um, now, I thought you might want to see what it looks like once you've received some responses. So here's one that I used earlier in a class. And what will happen, here are the questions. So here are the questions. I embedded a video and here are all the questions that the students answered. And if I look at responses, you can see here it comes up with 22. That's how many responses I got to my quiz uh, from my class. In this summary, we'll get a list of who has responded. Now, all of the emails of the students who've responded will appear here if you've set it to grab those emails. Um, that means you can easily see which students have and haven't responded. You get a summary of question by question. So you can see here 95% of the students got that question right, which is good news. Um, you can also see here they had to pop in the name of the developer of liberalism. And you can see there's a, a range of uh, misspellings there. So that's something to address. Um, and of course, the summary of the short answer responses. Now, this could prompt a class discussion. Um, starting from the responses of every student, not the responses of just one student. And this is why uh, using forms is a powerful way of questioning your students rather than that simple does everybody understand or asking a question and getting a response from one or two students.